I can't stand intros. Hey, so I thought I'd bring back the Cold Steel Colossus. Yeah, there's some kind of thing going on on the interwebs about Cold Steel. Don't exactly know what's going on over there, but I thought this would be a great time to bring this back into the collection. That's right, I did have the black version, sold it, wasn't really sure if I liked it. I actually really did like it, but I was trying to make room for other particular pieces and then the development, and I thought, well, hmm, Maybe I'll bring it back, and I'm glad I did. This time I've got it in the satin version versus the black DLC. And if you're new to my channel, I'm not a review channel, but I'll put the specs up here for you because, hey. You're here now, you may as well take a look at what you're looking at with you're looking at with what you're looking at. Ay, 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 ay. Anyway, let's open up the box. Let's open up the box. Let's take a look inside. I'm not a review channel. Okay, did I already say that? I'm just a guy who likes knives and going into the woods and beating on my knives because they are my knives. And I can do what I like with them. Oh, we've got the uh, red warning. We're going to have to read this before we get too far into this. All right, let's see if I can give you the sped up version. It's going to be kind of hard to read, but I'll do the best I can. Here we go. Warning! This knife is extremely sharp. We have tried to make this knife as strong, tough, and safe as possible. Please keep in mind that this, that despite its size and weight, it's a folding knife, not a fixed blade, and was designed for cutting and very light chopping duties. Do not use it as an axe, hatchet, cleaver, machete, screwdriver, pry bar, or sword. Please do not use this folding knife as if it was a fixed blade knife that doesn't fold. Please only use it for tasks appropriate for a folding knife and we're sure it will give you many years of long faithful service. Gee, I hope that wasn't too painful. Let's move that out of the way. Let's open it up. Go straight to the blade. And we're looking at the edge grind here, and you can see that it is equal from stem to stern. Let's go to the other side. And it's the same thing. Really, really happy with that so far. CTS XHP, beautiful satin finish, huge flat grind, massive leaf shape. Look you know, at my hand there, just the blade alone in my hand. Give you an idea. Pretty cool, in my humble opinion. I originally had planned on uh, cutting in like a um, like a clip point at one point. You know what I'm saying? I thought about doing that on the old one, and I'm glad I didn't because I want to keep this as original as possible. The thumb plate I broke. When I was batoning, yeah, I was breaking all the rules. I was doing all the wrong things, and yeah, I, I smashed it. Hit it here, broke the screw. Cold Steel sent me another screw within about a week or two, and I'm way up here in Canada. So thank you for that. I think this is just an awesome looking knife. I guess a fellow by the name of Mike Wallace designed it. And I just can't get enough of that crazy G10. And that crazy shape of the handle, and just the overall shape. I think it's a piece that should be in my collection. I can't say if it should be in yours or not. I can't say if you would like this knife or not. I know I do. And uh, I was kind of silly for getting rid of the other one, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad now because with the black DLC, the pocket clip was kind of like a painted and it was chipping all the time. So I was always, you know, uh, patching up those little chips. So in this case, I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, it's a little bit more blingy. It's not as tactical and dark, but I think it's kind of sexy. 
I think so. I think so. It looks pretty cool. I'm happy with it. The action is, yep, it's pretty good. Let's see where it lands on the old, the old index. So yeah, this one is not as scary as the Bush Ranger. It's a little bit more forgiving in this area. Uh, you could even choke up quite far if you wanted to. Um, I will say that I probably won't do much to the lock. Go back to my um, videos where I talk about softening the spring here. This one's actually not too bad. And there is no bite. I don't think I'm gonna have to do anything with the, sh with the shoulders here. It's not biting into my skin. Yeah, this one is, is straight out of the box. Really, really, really good. Uh, let's see how sharp it is. Let's pick a hair. Let's pick that one right there. Uh, it's hard to do behind the camera. Let's try this. I don't even know if I'm at the right angle. Yeah. Yeah, I will tell you that this thing is scary razor sharp right out of the box. And they were right what they said on the red warning band. I'm not a big fan of this sharpening choil area here. I do believe this round piece falls into a pin somewhere back here. I would have liked to seen a, a proper finish there, but that's easily modded. I will say that the thumb plate works perfect. And I know from experience that it comes flying out of the pocket. Um, in the woods, I will say it does not baton so well. Maybe that's why I was getting a lot of hate from that video. A full flat does not split wood the way you think it might. It, it really struggles. There's a lot of friction going on in here. I can think of other folding knives that baton wood better. But you should never baton wood with a folding knife. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man, I've heard that a thousand times. Anyway, what do you think of it? I think it's absolutely cool. I'm glad it's back. The ergos on this are fantastic. Big knife. But it doesn't feel really big. It doesn't feel heavy. Feels pretty good. Uh, the pocket clip. Typical with most coal steels, the distance between this point and the G10, you know, it could use a little bit more work. If your pants are a little bit thick on the edge, it's a little bit tough getting in. But I think I could modify that, no problem. Yeah. And the blade centering on this one is immaculate kind of dark there i think this is the best angle for that you can see it's looking pretty good so that's the way this one came out cold steel colossus that's two thumbs from johnny juke i'm glad it's back in the collection reunited and it feels so good